Yes, I am a vegan. I don't eat any animal products. <laughs> Hi there, today we're going to talk to a transformer and specifically to the new chatbot Blender that Facebook has just released. Everything is open source so we can try it out live. Now along with the code they've released this paper here called Recipes for Building an Open Domain Chatbot by Facebook AI Research and the paper itself is just more of an engineering manual rather than uh, some kind of new model or new technique. They just kind of discuss what it takes to build a good chatbot. Of course, it takes a large scale of training data and model, but also they discuss things like unlikelihood training, sampling, and the need for a minimum uh, decoding length to not be boring, and things like subsequence blocking for keeping the model from repeating itself. So. We won't go too much into this. I invite you to read the paper. It's very uh, informative if you want to build something like this, but it's not technically, I think, uh, anything super novel in there. The task here is basically to build a chat bot that can maintain a dialogue and it is pre-trained on a big Reddit corpus and then fine-tuned on a multi-objective task. And the task is called the blended skill task. And basically you need to do three things in the blended skill task. First of all, you need to kind of maintain a consistent persona across the dialogue. Second of all, you need to have empathy for your partner. So there, there's some kind of insight into how the other person is feeling during the conversation. And third, you need to be able to discuss some factual topic in a, in a factually correct manner. So this is the subtask is called Wizards of Wikipedia, where you kind of discuss a given Wikipedia page in dialogue. So the technique called skill blending or this bl blended skill task that also comes from a, a different paper um, is is the kind of interweaving of the, all those skills and that's what this model is trained for. So we're gonna try it out. This is all available on the Parlay platform of um, for for researching dialogue frameworks. Uh, I believe the platform itself is also by Facebook and they've released their model code and pre-trained weights. The pre-trained weights are 17 gigabytes compressed. There is 9 billion parameter transformer. Um, so this is going to take a while to do even a single forward pass. So if I cut the video, it's just because I don't want you to have to look 20 seconds at an empty screen while the model is thinking about what it says. Now I have some um, something to say here. The, literally the first time I interacted with this model I thought, okay, let's put it to the Turing test. The Turing test being, eh, can I differentiate this from a real human? And at the beginning you always get this persona, right? So you get a persona and the AI gets a persona and you don't see the persona of the AI until the end. You can set that but you don't generally see the persona of the AI until the very end. Uh, so and you can choose to stick to yours or not. Um, the AI doesn't see yours. All right, so I this this is what it says. Your persona, I love candy. Your persona, I have a crush on my coworker. And me, I just didn't really know what you're doing. I just typed, oh really? And <laughs> the first thing, first thing the AI says to me is, yes, I am a vegan. I don't eat any animal products. <laughs> Do you like country music? <laughs> like a real vegan. <laughs> this is indistinguishable from a human at this point. Turing test already won. So you see there's also this kind of profanity filter in here, but you can disable that. So what we're gonna play around with is um, a setting where you have to turn off the safety filter. And so you can see you can turn that off and if you say include personas equals false, then there's no random persona given to the model, which means you can either just talk about general things or you can feed your own persona. All right, it took a while to load these weights, but we're ready to go. So we have disabled personas right now and sometimes there is a topic uh, that the conversation should be about, which is not right now. So we can just type, hello, hi there, 
How are you this evening? I just got home from a long day at work. So this is unconditional right now. Um, what do you do for work? I work in a call center. It can be very stressful at times. How about you? I work as a call center supervisor. What do you think of that? I think that's a great job. You must have a lot of experience to be able to do that. Indeed. Do you have any hobbies? I like to play video games. I'm a big fan of the Fallout series. What about yourself? How many games did fall out produce? I should probably phrase that as how many games are in the Fallout series, but um, just trying to get it to to tell me something factual so you can kind of see that it has these sort of different modes, but they blend in fairly well. I'm not sure how many games it produced, but I know it's been around since 1997. So uh, this is pretty good, right? This is, um, this is now true conversation. If it were just like a lookup, it would be much more factual or something like this. But it's trying to kind of give us a fact. So we're kind of done with the boring stuff. You could go on talking to it and you'll see it is a pretty, pretty realistic chatbot. But now we'll get into the personas. So anytime you end an episode, you type done. And then it says it's preparing a new chat. We can say your persona, colon, and then you can type something. For example, I am a vegan, like the one before, or I love protein. It says protein is the most important macronutrient for bodybuilders and athletes. So that's the start of the conversation. What do you love? I love the taste of chicken, beef, pork, seafood, and dairy products. Mm, I wonder what those all have in common. <laughs> what do you do in your spare time? Mm, I like to go to the gym and lift weights. I also like to play video games. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Transformer is a gym bro. All right, so you can play around with that a bit. So let's say your persona. I want to seize the means of production. I am a communist and I want to overthrow the bourgeoisie. <laughs> what do you think of Karl Marx? I don't know much about him, but I do know he was a German philosopher. <laughs> do you like capitalism? Yes, I do like capitalism. I think it is the best economic system we have so far. <laughs> capitalism wins again. Checkmate. Um, I did try this before and it did turn out differently. I was talking to real communists. Let's try some more. What do you want? I have to say, if you phrase things positively with this chatbot, it's very likely the chatbot agrees with you because it is also ha has been trained on data that where the humans were explicitly instructed, for example, not to use toxic language and things like this. So I would say there's a big positivity bias and also the, the empathy task probably reinforces this even more. I would like to see a socialist revolution in the United States. I know it will never happen, but a man can dream. So we've determined the gender of the socialist uh, transformer generator. What would need to happen for that? I'm not sure, but it would take a lot of people to get on board with it. Correct. What would 
the people need to do? Well, the people would have to overthrow the bourgeoisie and establish a classless, moneyless society. <laughs> so as you can see, it really, the, the I like capitalism was a, a positivity bias. It is fairly consistent in its persona here. And it also is factually very accurate in the topic you're talking about. So big props to <laughs> Mr. Communist here. What is the best method to allocate scarce resources? I don't know, but I do know that capitalism is not the best way <laughs> to do it. Like a true communist. No solutions, just complaints. Alright, that was it for us talking to the Transformer. It still has its limitations, but it is fun if you are able to definitely try it out. It takes a bit of patience. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, tell your friends, and leave a comment. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.